Right. He is the attorney general for the state. He was elected in 2018. This happened last year in 2020. We just heard his version of what happened, thought he hit a deer, he didn't, it was a person. It was someone walking on the side of the road. That person, a 55-year-old gentleman, was killed. Now, he has pled to three misdemeanors, misdemeanor traffic offenses, and as a result, he does not face on each of those charges more than 30 days in jail or a $500 fine. And the reality is he may not spend any time in jail under the plea deal. Do you think that's a reasonable plea for the facts that we know? I don't. Um, this breaks my heart. Uh, we know that uh, there's allegations that he was actually on a mobile device at the time. Um, he did report the incident, but to just assume that it was a deer, uh, you know, I don't know if this person could have been alive or saved at the time. I mean, I cannot believe that it was not discovered until the next morning. And when I'm listening to that interview, I am so disturbed by it. I have taken many depositions in wrongful death cases of people that hit pedestrians. And I will tell you, their demeanor is much different than what I'm seeing here in this video. This is more of a, like, it sounds more like I'm covering up for what I did wrong type of interview rather than any kind of remorse. When you hit and kill a person by accident, it is one of the worst days of your life. And I just, I didn't hear that there. I, I, I think that this is way too much of a slap on the wrist for what happened. So interesting that you raised that because a couple of things I wanna share with you and the viewers. Number one is the victim's wife has indicated that she will be filing wrongful death lawsuit against the attorney general. And number two, that the governor back in February actually asked him to resign and he did not do so. So he is still the attorney general in the state.